Hello guys, today we will introduce you our Raspberry Pi project. Our project has become four components. We write a code for interface with Python TK Inter. This interface looks quite simple, but it's useful for our project. We have three buttons on the main solver. The first button is for scanning all the maze while moving and specify our ways to go on matrix. After the robot goes to finish line, the script will write our matrix in a txt file that name is labyrinth txt. So the first stage will be completed like that. As you see, our robot can go straight forward because we use very cheap engines and batteries. If you use better options, you will get better results. Because of this problem, we are adding our code some simple fixing scripts. When the robot gets closer to left or right wall, it comes a little bit back. And the servo engine turns and fix itself for going to straight. Our second button is for finding our robot coordinates and go from finishing where we put our vehicle. When we push this button, the program will ask to us the direction robot look. We had to get this info because we didn't use any compass in our vehicle. And when it tried to find coordinate, it has to know direction. So let's put our vehicle a place and give it a direction so the program will take our maze from labyrinth txt line by line and it shows to screen. After it calculates our maze nodes and ways, it throws this information in a list. After that, the robot will move and compare the data come from ultrasonic sound sensor with the data comes from labyrinth.txt. When it finds the coordinates, the coordinate will specify on our matrix with two numbers. So it is our beginning point. Now we can use DFS algorithm. We give this matrix in our maze solver and it calculates best option to go finish. It tries always on computer, but not to trying to move our vehicle. When it finds the shortest way, it will give us a list. What we must to do for going to finish line. When the script do this, the second button will complete our second and third stages. Now, the last thing we have to do is pushing the third button. It will take the list and uses this info while our vehicle goes straight. So, as you see, it's quite simple. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to click subscribe button. See you soon.